best optical sensor gaming mouse. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. So, today I am back with another exciting and informative video. Here I will give you a detailed review of the best optical sensor gaming mouse. This review is based on experience and complete research. So, I hope you will like this list. You can also comment on your favorite one, so that we can also know about your best one. So, without any further delay, let's start with the video. Make sure to like, share, and comment on this video. And also do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Number 1. Razer Death Adder V2 Considered the best optical sensor gaming mouse. The Razer Death Adder V2 improves on the entirety we love about the Death Adder Elite. Itself one of the exceptional gaming mice and one that has been round for the reason that 2016 in a number of forms. The most apparent enhancement is the Focus Plus optical sensor. The identical one used in the extremely good Razer Viper Ultimate Wireless, I'll go into it in a second. However, I used to be greater impressed through the extra delicate modifications Razer has made for the V2. It's precisely the proper tightness. It spins smoothly, however you can nonetheless experience each notch of the turn. So you won't by chance scroll too many times. The left and proper mouse buttons are greater long-lasting than the Elite 2. They're optical, instead than mechanical. They use an infrared mild beam to register clicks, which potential they ought to supply fewer misclicks, decrease latency, and have a longer life. It reaches 20,000 DPI CPI, 16-0, tracks up to 650 inches per second, 450, and boasts a resolution accuracy of 99.6%, 99.4%. The sensor also goes up to 20,000 DPI CPI, 16-0, tracks up to 650 inches per second, 450, and has a resolution accuracy of 99.6%, 99.4%. However, carrying on a style in current Razer mice, the left and right mouse buttons are a bit flimsy. They experience fine, even sturdy when you're clicking them straight on, however, the slightest quantity of sideways stress makes them waggle off-center. Now, I will let you know about the second one, and let's see what we have at this number. Number 2. Logitech G203 Lightsync If you discover the Logitech G203 Lightsync familiar, you are no longer the solely one. The present-day gaming mouse from Logitech G may also be tipped as a new arrival. However, it is nearly functionally equal to the G203 prodigy that preceded it. G203 Lightsync sits inside a hotly contended category of budget-conscious gaming mice. Most of all it faces stern contesting from Razer, whose lineup at this price, or thereabouts, now consists of the Death Adder Essential, Basilisk Essential, and Viper Mini. However, the G203 Lightsync has sufficient about it to stand on its own. Its no-nonsense diagram packs the naked essentials and it builds upon that mild aptitude for the aesthetic that you may not discover pretty so mentioned somewhere else. The three titular light zones all lie inside the skinny strip that spans the rear palm rest, with the emblem above taking the identical shade as the center RGB lighting fixture zone. While it might have been high quality to have a biased management of the brand itself, the choice does enable amazing tricolor gradient consequences sweeping from one facet of the mouse to the other. These are not detachable or swappable to the contrary side, which really comes as a stunning flaw in the Logitech G203's in any other case one-size-fits-all design. Nevertheless, it is a simple design, and one which Logitech aptly calls tried and true. The unnamed gaming-grade sensor inside the G203 provides a DPI varies of 208,000, which ought to show extra than sufficient for all however the most enormous of 4K video display units at which factor you may prefer to flip to something with a little greater grandeur than the G203. Now, it's time to check the third one. I hope you will like all of the shared products. Number 3. Razer Naga Pro The Razer Naga Trinity has been on our exceptional gaming mouse in today's list as the best suggestion for an MMO mobile alternative for years now. However, there may be a new youngster in the city of Razer Naga Pro. Aside from dropping Razer Hyperspeed Wireless and Bluetooth connectivity, the Naga Pro also switches to optical mouse switches and an over-the-top 20,000 DPI sensor. The Naga Pro is 117 heavier and 7 wider than the Trinity, however, its 100% PTFE feet make it glide over most surfaces without problems. 
The greater mouse additionally takes some getting used to, requiring my extensive fingers to undertake a full palm grip. But the condor mouse buds and relaxation from my ring finger make it less complicated to maintain. Textured rubber grips for the thumb and pinky additionally help. The switches are long-lasting too, with a lifespan of 70 million clicks. However, of course, the Naga Pro has masses of different buttons too. There are three swappable plates that have two, six, and 12 buttons for remapping to your beloved content. The Naga Pro's optical sensor has additionally been up to date with the Razer Focus Plus 20,000 DPI sensor with 650 IPS tracking. This is a long way past something most users will ever want to max out at 8,000 DPI and the Naga Pro delivered a smooth, specific journey in my many Adobe Creative Suite adventures. Now, it's time to check the next one, so let's have a look at another best optimal sensor gaming mouse. Number 4. Steel Series Prime Wireless It's captivating how a whole lot of the new Steel Series Prime Wireless gaming mouse reminds me of the Razer Viper Ultimate. It's a no-frills, high-performance computing device designed to meld with your palm and make you the FPS god you constantly dreamed of being. For once, the product lives up to the hype. The Prime Wireless is designed for right-handers, specifically claw grippers and fingertip grippers. The whole mouse seems to gently slope to the right, wrapping with your palm for a comfortable grip. The structure is made from a micro-textured ABS plastic which has a mat and that feels concurrently slick and grippy. At ADIG, it is barely heavier than the Viper Ultimate, however, it is hardly ever what you would name heavy. The thumb properly curves inwards whilst the mouse button's upper jab greater in the direction of your index finger and taper off beneath your center finger. This delicate slope makes the butt's experience by some means less difficult to click. Peaking off, the Prime Wireless has a built-in rechargeable battery that is rated for 100 hours per charge. That's over a week of common use, however, I must consider that these numbers are solely attainable when the mouse is jogging in high efficiency mode, which tones down some settings like the RGB to retail power. For gaming, you may prefer to maintain it in overall performance mode which will bite via the battery in considerably much less time around 40 hours in testing. Now, it's time to check out last but not least, fifth product on today's list. Number 5. Razer Basilisk V3 the new Razer Basilisk V3 is, as the title suggests, the 1-3 generation of the iconic wired rodent. It appears and feels practically the same as the V2, which admittedly isn't always an awful factor at all. Designed for right-handers, Basilisk V3 retains the identical flared and textured thumb rest, iconic thumb paddle, and cut-up mouse butt layout of the V2. This new strip makes the V3 appear like an otherworldly visitor ship on your desk. In addition to the scroll wheel and hump logo, lighting fixtures are customizable to your heart's content. By way of the Razer Chroma Studio, you get an audible click when the mouse switches modes like Tool Shift. Sadly, Smart Reel is a long way too enthusiastic and would kick in way too frequently a whole lot to my irritation. Thankfully, you can manually change modes through urging the button just at the back of the scroll wheel. I work a lot in format packages and Whilst the free spin makes shifting round massive canvases faster, it shortly will become trouble when zooming in and out for details. I also notice that the buttons are less wobbly compared to previous versions, but we'll probably have to see how long they maintain up after countless clicks. Now, it's time to end this video. I hope you like this detailed review. I will be back soon with another exciting video. Till that, like, share, and comment on this video. And allows make sure to subscribe to the channel.